For photographers wanting to streamline their workflow, there are quite a few good devices out there. One of these devices that has been well received is by a company called Loop Deck. A year after the first release, the company launched the second product, the Loop Deck Plus. Offering more controls and greater compatibility, this unit is no longer aimed solely at photographers. In fact, Loop Deck have the whole creative industry firmly lined up with this product. So with the company's roots in the photography industry, we're going to see what the Loop Deck Plus has to offer when working with Adobe Lightroom. At a glance, the Plus does seem very similar to the first iteration, but a closer look will reveal that the slightly thicker unit actually houses a couple of additional keys and custom dials. These new additions now open up a great range of options in terms of customising your workflow. If you are familiar with the first version from Loop Deck, then you'll also notice that they have improved the overall build, and really focused on the quality of the buttons and dials. Overall, the device now feels very solid to work with, and the controls are really quite precise. So, who is the Plus aimed at? Well, as I mentioned earlier, Loop Deck's origins lie in photography. But that's not where things stop. This latest device has been well received in the filmmaking world, as it has compatibility with Premiere and After Effects. And, depending on how in-depth you go of your editing, this really covers everyone from amateurs to professionals. From unboxing to getting started, it's really quite quick. As with all these types of devices, there's a program you'll need to download. This then allows you to connect the device to the appropriate software and to customise the controls of the Loop Deck Plus using the Loop Deck app. When using the Loop Deck Plus in other programs, such as Adobe Premiere, I've had to enable the device within its settings. However, using it with Lightroom just seems to be plug and play. When you first use the Loop Deck Plus, you'll notice that all the common shortcuts have already been set up, though there are a few less options when using with Lightroom as opposed to Adobe Premiere. In the library module, these preset up shortcuts allow you to rate your images, set color labels and flags, as well as setting auto tone and auto white balance. There's also the option to add selected images into a quick collection. The device does considerably more when using it with the develop tool. Here, you can crop and rotate your images using the main control dial, change the basic color settings using the dedicated dials, and make use of Lightroom's excellent dehaze tool. The Loop Deck also has a function key, and a press of this gives you almost double the options for customizing those buttons. For my workflow, I've kept almost all of the preset keys the same, except for one. This I've set to change between the develop and library tools. These are my most commonly used parts of Lightroom, and I want to access them quite quickly. Now let's take a look at their custom mode. This is a new feature that's been introduced on the Loop Deck Plus. This mode allows you to customize all of the dials throughout the device with controls such as split toning, sharpening, and vignette, and comes in very handy for increasing the control over the edits of your images without having to revert back to your standard keyboard. Alongside the custom mode, there's also keyboard mode. This means you can use some of the general keyboard keys that you'd use throughout your edit without having to switch back to the keyboard. This is mainly used for switching between the color tags and the star rating. Once you've opened up and explored the Loop Deck app, made any changes to any of the dials that you need to, you'll be ready to use Lightroom as normal. So I haven't really changed my workflow at all with the introduction of the Loop Deck Plus. It has just sped up how I do things, meaning I can spend more time photographing and less time editing. For me, and I presume many other photographers, the preset controls work really well. In fact, Loop Deck really have thought about almost everything when it comes to what you can do with this device. As mentioned, in develop, the press of the main control takes you into crop mode. Twisting that same dial means you can crop the image in its current aspect ratio. If you want to change this, then the P1 to 8 buttons along the top are pre-assigned to specific ratios. These can also be changed depending on your preferences. When editing the colours, contrast and overall look of the image, the main dials throughout the controller allow you to precisely make changes. If you're not happy with what you've done, then pressing the relevant dial will return the slider back to zero. To quickly access any of the tools, the custom L buttons on the left take you straight to the correct tab and tool. If you're a photographer that works on more than one machine, then being able to take your customizations and presets with you is pretty important. The Loot Tech program allows you to export a small file which can be stored with your catalog, or you could upload it to the cloud, meaning wherever you work, your Loot Tech will work exactly how you set it up to. I really do like the option of taking the customization controls with me. So for me, I store it in the cloud, but it would be really nice as it's such a lightweight file to have some internal storage so you could store any of your presets on the Loot Tech itself. That way, you'll never forget them. So, that's the Loop Deck Plus. A well thought out, well built, and relatively inexpensive extension of your workflow. And in the time that I've owned the device, I've really loved using it. So much so that I have noticed a slowdown in my workflow when I don't have it. And what's more, Loop Deck are continuing to update this device with new software compatibility. So if you are using Lightroom or any of the other compatible software, then I'd really recommend picking one up. For more information about the Loop Deck, click on the link in the description.